Hello guys, I'm here at a very very nice place in Sofia, a very nice restaurant called Izbata, literal translation the wine cellar, okay, a very nice place and I'm having a wonderful dinner and the reason I'm, I'm filming this is because I wanted to show you this. Well, this is the legendary shops Kassad. If you have ever been to Bulgaria, okay, you have tried or at least you have heard of the shops Kassad. Well, of shops Kassad, uh, it's usually recommended by Bulgarians as a the traditional, the ultimate shop, well, Bulgarian salad. In reality, though, this is not a traditional Bulgarian salad. It appeared on the menus in Bulgarian restaurants in the 50s. Well, this says Vinarna Izbata, Vinarna Izbata. The second word, Izbata, actually means wine cellar, but it also means basement. Vinarna means definitely wine cellar. Okay, and this is the place. It's a very nice restaurant in Lozenets, in Sofia. Hello, guys. I'm here at a very, very nice place, a nice restaurant in Sofia called Izbata. Izbata. Izbata means wine cellar or basement. In this case, it obviously means wine cellar okay it is situated in Sofia as you said but not in the touristy areas um, it's rather in a residential area of the touristy zones and you have to know it appeared thanks to the fact that uh, Bulgarian uh, tourism Bulgaria is already a destination uh, okay a known destination at least in Europe a known tourist destination but Bulgarian tourism started being developed in the 60s Okay, and um, maybe many people don't know these days, but uh, communist, our communist economy was a centralized economy, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the the company which was running uh, tourism in Bulgaria was actually a state-owned company, and they had set menus, and the menus practically offered more or less the same uh, dishes. So one of them, Sofia, it is off the touristy area, and. Um, you have to know it. It has a very, very nice garden. I'll show you the garden. You have to know it, actually. Um, I'm not advertising, as we know, I never advertise my videos. They're not commercial. But I do recommend the place if you happen to be in the Lozenitz area. You have to um, normally you have to book because it's jam packed, but tonight it's a little cool, it's rather cool, um, even though it's uh, what's today? Saturday, I think. Yeah, Saturday. Um, so, but you have to make so a reservation. What's this? Okay, it is made of tomatoes, cucumbers, onions. Okay, um, what else? You have a little parsley and you have cheese, white cheese grated on top. Okay, the huge difference between this salad and the Greek salad, the legendary Horiatiki Greek salad, is that the Greek salad has actually um, a piece of cheese on top, it has oregano, um, and it has, it, it's different, and olive oil. Ours, ours doesn't have oregano, it has uh, onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers very often, parsley, and the cheese is grated. So this is Shopska salad. Trying not to trip, obviously. Make a reservation normally. Right, the reason I'm filming this is because I want to show you, I want to tell you in the next video about the legendary Shopska salad. If you have been to Bulgaria, you have tried or at least you'll have heard of the legendary Shopska salad. And in the next video, I'll show you around the place. They, they have a lovely garden and quite good food, actually. So, bon appetit.